right, let's get it. This angle looks really, really good. <clears throat> Back up a little bit. Tracy Willie taking in your tech. I don't know I gained nine. Welcome back to another video on Tracy Willie Pure Abundance. If this is your first time tuning in to one of these videos, I appreciate you tuning in. If you are a returning viewer, you already know. I appreciate you tuning back in. So on this channel, we encourage, inspire, and uplift each other to keep evolving into our greatest self. So that's what we're going to do in this video right here. <clears throat> in this video right here, I'm going to be focusing on children. I'm going to be focusing on the, the importance of children. Why are kids important? So just right off the bat, before I say anything, I just must let y'all know that I do not have kids. I do not have kids. In this current moment, I do not have kids, but I do plan on having like 11 of them or as many as I'm, as many as I choose to experience. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, bet. <clears throat> so I don't have no kids at this, is it in this very moment. I just must y let y'all know. All right, so let's get into it, right? So why are kids important? If you're watching this video, then you must feel that kids are important. Let's just say that, right? I'm not... <clears throat> I'm attracting the people who do feel somewhat that kids are important, all right? So just know, another disclaimer is I'm not making this video for people who don't feel that kids are not important, all right? This is not for y'all. Like, y'all belong somewhere else because... <laughs> We don't, yeah, we, we we can't, we don't speak the same language, you feel me? So I'm, I'm speaking for, I'm speaking to the people who believe and who know somewhere deep down that kids are important. And it's just this little curiosity as to like, why? Why, 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 why do people feel that kids are so important, you feel me? So, I'm break this shit down for so many reasons. And this is off the dome, alright? This is, not even off the dome, this is, this is from the soul, alright? So, kids are important because they are the source. They are the source. What you teach them, they will teach others. What you do in front of them, they will do in front of other people. What you tell kids not to do, they want to do it. Right. We be curious, nigga. We be like, shit, says who? You feel me? Everybody got that little sting in them that, shit, they won't know. You feel me? Like, you, if you were a child and, and at some point you, at some point in your life you was rebellious, so at some point you was on some, let me see something, because something ain't making sense, especially when something ain't making sense. So kids are important because they are listening. You are training them. Every step of the way, everything you say, this is to put no pressure on parents because I'm not a parent, so I don't know how hard it is to really raise a child. You get what I'm saying? But that's the that, that's the benefit of, of 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 keeping an open mind, the fact that you can see things from different perspective, and if you already have a child, you're not in a bad situation. There's, you can learn a lot still. You can rearrange things still. I'm just privileged enough to have strategically maneuvered around this beautiful experience that I feel shall be treated with royalty and just a sense of just preciousness, like a sense of high respect. Like they... We have to respect how I was going to say they didn't ask to be here, but we all choose to be here. So I must make sure that when the soul that that chooses the vessel that me and Sierra or me and my significant other will be connecting with to provide, <clears throat> then I want to be in a position where I'm going to be in a position where everything will make sense to them. You get what I'm saying? 
So the importance of kids is important because they paying attention to you. They watching every single thing that you do. So with that being said, what what are we teaching them? What are they learning? A lot of us are broken today because we haven't forgiven our parents for for doing their best. We haven't forgiven them for doing their best. We still we still blaming them for where we are in life. So motherfuckers fail to progress. Motherfuckers fail to elevate. Because if you blaming somebody, then you expect them to be the reason you elevate. So if I'm blaming my my family, if I'm blaming if I'm blaming parents for where I'm at in life, then I'm expecting them to be the reason why I uplift myself. See? And this can get tricky because I want to be able to provide a beautiful life for my kids and so on and so forth. But I got my codes and I got my, 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 my boundaries. I got my standards with them too, even though they're not here. They're not entitled to shit. They're not entitled to shit. They are not entitled to nothing that I make, nigga. If I give them money or if I give them anything, it's because I choose to. They're not entitled to the bread that I make. You get what I'm saying? Now, I might do something for them, like, behind their back, and they might not know, like, a little, a little, huh, 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 a little safety net. Not even a safety net, but just a little, huh, that they might not, not, not never know about until, nigga, I pass. You feel me? And even me saying this, I know one day, uh, let's say I have a child that one day they can watch this video and be like, oh, he probably do have something for me. And that can make them not want to hustle. You get what I'm saying? So, I love, I, I, I'm going to love my child. I, I, I'm going to want to provide for them. I'm going to want to be there for them. But that's just how the pendulum effect happens too. You get what I'm saying? Because you got the people who were unfortunate, who was born in their position unfortunate, and they don't have anything. So then they go get everything. Let's just use Migos for an example. So Migos was born not having shit to their opinion, right? That's how they perceived it. And then they went and got everything, and that's how they perceived it. They went and got everything, and now their children going to have everything that they never did. But that's a pendulum, because now their kids are not going to know the value of that, and they're not going to value it, or they're not going to go get it just like the Migos did. Because unlike the Migos, these kids are born into it, so they don't feel, they don't value it, they don't know the importance of it to go get it. And unfortunately, let's say Migos and them... <clears throat> didn't teach them the value of it, then that's that's where the pendulum comes in and they're just going to be swinging back and forth generation to gen generation. One generation is going to be broke, one generation is going to be rich because the kids going to be rich because the broke ones went and got rich, right? So then the rich ones going to be going birth rich babies that not teach them about value and then swing back and then these babies going to fuck up all the money and they're going to have to start over. You get what I'm saying? So it's a pendulum. That's why it's important to speak to kids. It's important to talk to kids because... People feel like kids are st stupid. People feel like they're smarter than kids. So people feel like <clears throat> people feel like they can say whatever to kids, and 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 the kids gotta listen to them and this and that. But ultimately, nigga, on some real ass shit, your kids are smarter than you. Your kids are closer to the source. Between the ages of zero to seven, a child is in a stage of uh, it's called beta, theta, and alpha, or something like that, right? I'm not too familiar with them, but they're in one of those stages. I, th I think it's theta. One of those stages where they're in a stage between the ages of zero to seven. A child is in a stage of just blissfulness. They don't see color. They don't see age. They don't see none of the shit that motherfuckers program you to see. Because motherfuckers just program you to tune into their channel, to tune into their reality. Which is an illusion, which is made up. And that's why having perspective is important so you can think for yourself. All right, but motherfuckers will get into that. <clears throat> motherfuckers will teach their kids things that don't matter between that time, and then that's that's what you program their subconscious with. So between the ages of zero to seven is when a child is the most potent. So that's why back in the days, like, motherfuckers became kings and queens at 13 and was fucking 14-year-olds and 15-year-olds and calling them queens and shit like that because after seven, nigga, niggas already knew that these niggas had their minds made up for the most part. Not had their minds made up, but 
they were already subconsciously programmed, you feel me? That doesn't mean that you can't reprogram yourself, and that doesn't mean that you can reprogram yourself. Because you can do both. It don't mean none of the other. It just, it don't mean shit. It's just, it's just what it, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, it's a fact. It's, it's, a, it's a proven fact between zero to seven, a child is the most influenced. So what you tell your child between that time is important to how they turn out, per se. But even after that age seven, you can still contribute to their well-being as you can help them contribute to their well-being. To make it make sense between the ages of zero to seven, a child is just all subconscious. After the year seven years old, so eight and upwards, after seven and up, they did the, they did the, they develop a conscious mind. They develop a conscious mind. So that's when they be like, oh, okay, I am this. I am that. Okay, this is this. That is that. See, because when between zero to seven, yeah, they were partially doing that, but they were trying to figure it out, make sense of it. And parents were telling them what, what was. Like, this is this and that is that. This means this, that means that. So between that time, they... Nigga, they take, this is all they know. They taking you dead ass serious, you feel me? So if you keep telling them no anytime they touch something or if you keep telling them whatever it is, it's going to take a toll on them later. And either they're going to benefit from that or they're going to have to fix that. I know this is a deep conversation to have, but that's why, that's why I got this YouTube channel. This needs to be normal. We must be able to have conversations like this on a... Nigga, on a normal basis to your kids, to your family, everybody. To the point where y'all getting a nigga like me. Where y'all not even getting a nigga like me to come do lectures for y'all. But where y'all taking the, 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 the confidence and y'all taking the initiative to stand up in your household and, and speak up. Speak up. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. You feel me? Speak up. Facts. So it's important that we have conversations like that. I'm going to keep it real with my kids. You better believe it. I'm going to keep it so real with my kids, nigga. Santa Claus is fake. Nigga... <clears throat> All these holidays don't mean shit to us because we didn't come up with it. We just celebrating something that motherfuckers came up with, and that's why we don't celebrate it. But that's why all those people outside do, and that's why Daddy lived the way he do because he trying to, <clears throat> not even trying to, because Daddy building a life around how he see this shit and what he's really in tune with and what he really knows and what he's really learning and what he's really in tune with, niggas. So respect it, facts, and you must do the same. You don't have to say yes and agree to everything, and you don't need permission to, to go get it. Facts. You don't. You don't need permission to get it. We born winners. So the importance of kid, the importance of kids is how we're going to be able to build a, a better place, you feel me? Take responsibility for yourself first, you feel me? This is no video to bring all the attention to kids and take the, all the attention off the niggas who got experience and who are not kids, you feel me? Nigga, you better boss up too and do what you must do as well, nigga. This is for you too. This is for me. This is for everybody. Nigga, not just the kids. I'm just focusing on the kids so y'all can get an understanding of how I really feel about children. Nigga, I love children, bro. Like, they are the, they are, nigga, just period. You feel me? And we must respect them. We must listen to them. Like, ask your child questions, my nigga. They gonna kick it to you from a pure place. You feel me? From a place that where they haven't been influenced by much. So they they got so much connection from the source. They so enlightened by that shit. You feel me? Like, ask them shit. Like, talk to them, my nigga. For real. Like, be in tune with that shit. Oh, God. Because I promise you, bro. Somebody younger than you can teach you some more than somebody, than what somebody older can teach you. Facts. Facts, age don't matter. And that's why I fuck with that nigga XXX Tentacion because he did an interview on, on, on Jumper 22, 22 Jumper Adam, whatever that shit called. And the nigga asked for his age and he was like, off the bat, bro, I'm not telling you my age because as soon as I tell you my age, you gonna look at me a certain way. You gonna start, you gonna feel obligated to treat me a certain way. Why? Because you have been programmed by society by 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 rules that have been put by motherfuckers who don't who don't even fuck with you, but a group of entity motherfuckers who just don't fuck with your well being gave you the rules and told you that since you are, are an adult, kids should listen to you and you're smarter than them. So therefore, anytime you're in the presence of a child, nigga, you you automatically think you're smarter than them. So you're not even giving them a chance to to be 
to give to put you up on game. See? See? So kids are important for so many reasons, bro. We must love them, we must respect them, we, we must be patient with them, we must appreciate them, we must respect them. Like, <clears throat> like they're adults. You want to know why? Because, nigga, you are always growing. Just like the universe is always expanding. We always, we always choose to experience ourselves through different things. We are powerful gods and goddesses, so the universe is always expanding, it's always growing. Literally, it's a proven fact. You can go look this up. You're always growing. Just like a person, like from birth, this vessel starts to age, you start to grow because the soul is getting ready to go back to its source. Like, it knows that it's, it's an experience. This is just an experience. So, you're always growing. So, respect it. Why would you lie to a child that's always growing? I would not tell my... I would, I would definitely tell my child that Santa Claus is fake because eventually he's going to grow into knowing that. That's going to be a fact to him eventually. Otherwise, I'm going to leave him confused because if I'm confused about it, I got to let that nigga know. Hey, bruh, I don't know. If I figure it out, I'm going to let you know. If you figure it out before me, let me know. Let me know. I'm putting y'all up on game. Because I don't even have kids yet. And I'm definitely not telling y'all how to raise y'all kids, you feel me? I'm just saying, bruh, if we want to make our environment a better place, my nigga, it definitely starts with you first. You feel me? Like you gotta make the change first, cause you can't be you go you can be preaching whatever to your kids, but you're doing the opposite. Then you feel me? That's why being transparent is important. Like I always say this, like I'm fighting for shit that I might not might not get to. I'm fighting for shit that I know I'm not going to be here in the physical to live to see the benefits of it and how it really impacted people. But you think that matters to me, nigga? No, you think that's gonna make me not want to make that change? No, nigga. You feel me? You think Bob Marley, he's not here in the physical to see the impact he made on an, on my life. And the nigga's been dead for so many years. He almost been dead for longer than he's been alive. You feel me? But his energy is felt. Energy can't die, so the nigga energy is felt. So what that tell me, nigga? Same shit for me, nigga. I'm not trying to be no Bob Marley. I'm going to be Tracy Willie. I'm going to be me, Mr. Pure Abundance in this bitch. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to bring clarity to this bitch. But I'm going to do it in a way where my energy is felt. And I'm being transparent. Whether it be with my kids, somebody I love, or just anybody, period. Or a stranger, nigga. I'm being transparent. I'm telling you something that can really benefit you, period. Why? Because, nigga, that's just code. Like, I'm moving love. That's how we must move. Now, there is balance. I'm not saying that we must be doing evil shit. I'm just saying, like, nigga, you want to take a day off, rest, you want to do this, you want to do that, nigga, do it. There's consequences for everything, you feel me? I'm not preaching perfectness here. Like, perfectness, I don't even know if that's a word. I'm a perfectionist off tops, like, based on my, my Virgo, based on the astrology of my sign, based on how the planets affect my sign, based on how Mercury affects Virgo. I am... I came with traits that I came with, so one of them is a perfectionist, but... Nigga, I'm not even trying to be a perfectionist, you feel me? Like, we just want to better motherfuckers, period. Like, whoever it is you come in contact with, we just want to be able to better them, add value to them. So, no matter who click on my video, no matter what time, no matter where you at, <laughs> you go learn some shit that can benefit you in a positive way. And, <clears throat> nigga, if we not a hundred about it, nigga, that must be said. But everything that we speaking is coming from our soul. So that's point blank period. We always growing, so we must respect that. That's why we shoot these videos the whole way through, you feel me? Because, nigga, we growing. Point blank period. So let's stay on topic, right? The importance of kids. Kids are important because they are, they are period. They are everything. So we're going to treat these kids with respect, and we're going to really put them on game. We're going to keep it real with them. We ain't going to lie to them. You know, they really watching you, so, like, respect that and keep it real with them. Nigga, you smoke. Nigga, keep it real with your child. You do this. You keep it real with them, like... This is this, that is that. You feel me? Like, let's talk about sex. Let's talk about all that. Because, like, nigga, you, wasn't you fucking behind your parents' back? You feel me? Like, I know a lot of kids out there fuck behind their parents' back. Like, I'm pretty sure more on more people on the planet fuck behind their parents' back than the motherfuckers who told their parents that they gonna fuck somebody type shit. You can't tell me I'm lying, nigga, and I don't need to take a toll. I don't need to set up a voting thing for this to notice. And I could be wrong still. 
see, see, I got perspective. I could be wrong still, still. But somewhere deep down, nigga, I just feel that just based off the programming, based off the evil entities that's doing their best to run this planet, they're influencing a lot of people in a negative way, and a lot of people is really listening to that. So a lot of people is becoming or being more in tune with their lower self rather than their higher self. And their lower self contains stuff of not doing things in their benefit, if you may, not doing things to benefit their nature, which will be in a conversation of lying behind their parents' back, talk, talking about sneaking out and doing shit. Like, you know it don't feel good, but it's a natural thing that you want to do. You feel me? I'm not telling nobody that it's a right or a wrong thing to be sneaking out your parents' house and doing shit behind their back. But I'm saying you like you naturally want to do that. So if we know that as as parents and we already went through that, why don't you talk to your child about that? Like, hey, like around this age, I snuck out my parents' house, so I'm just kicking it with you. Like, like they a person too, nigga. They people too. They regular ass fucking gods and goddesses too. You feel me? Like, kick it with them, bruh. Kick it with them. Love them. Like, kick it with them, cuz. Damn, bruh. Can we? Ugh. Swear, man. So it's like, <clears throat> man, I have faith that everybody going to do what they must do with their children. Again, I'm not telling nobody how to raise their kids. I'm just putting in my input because, I, again, I don't have kids, so I don't know the how hard it is to, to have a kid, you feel me, or to deal with a kid. I know a lot of people say your life get put on hold and this and that, but, I mean, the mental work is where it's at. Everything in life is mental, you feel me? So get your mental up, my nigga, and stop complaining about shit you don't need to be complaining about straight up. Because a lot of y'all sound like bitches out here. For real. So let's get it. So the importance of kids, right? We're going to take care of these kids. We're going to love these kids, man. We're going to respect these kids. And we ain't going to lie to these kids. We're going to keep it real with them, nigga. From the jump, from the rip. Especially these rapping ass kids, you feel me? Who want to be rappers, basketball players, and all that. See, because they don't have like a... They don't have an NBA for technology, nigga. They don't have a music industry for reading books, nigga. You feel me? So niggas can't tune into that. Niggas can't look forward to being that. Niggas look forward to being in the NBA because it broadcasts so well. Niggas look forward to being in the music industry because it's broadcasted so well. Niggas don't look up to reading to reading books or writing them because it's not broadcasted well. But that's why you got a nigga like me broadcasting that shit so well. You feel me? That's why you got a nigga like me broadcasting technology so well. Nigga, let's t tap in. Let's tune in over there. That's our NBA. That's our music industry. You feel me? Let's create award shows for those. Who wrote the best book this year? You feel me? What, what, what we doing? Oh, God. So it's like, real niggas is back in style, and it's going to stay like that. Because love is here, nigga. And I'm leading this bitch. I'm in the forefront. I'm, I'm letting niggas know we here. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Know that the importance of kids is very important. <laughs> so uh, respect that. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And y'all keep taking care of yourself. Keep becoming and keep evolving into your greatest self. And, uh... <clears throat> Tracy Willie checking out your check. I don't know why going on. Don't forget to check the description. Everything is in there. I appreciate y'all so much. The merch is in there. The music is in there. I got a playlist on this channel for y'all. I got consultations we can do for y'all. I got some social medias in there for y'all that y'all can y'all can hit me up with, ask me questions. So all types of shit like that, man. We got series on this uh on this YouTube channel called What's Your ID where I interview people on their intelligence and discipline. <clears throat> I got the IG lives where I be going live and re-uploading it here. And then you just got the automatics, you feel me, of me just dropping on this bitch. So I appreciate y'all. Tracy Willie checking out your check. I don't know what going on once again. And uh, keep taking care of yourself. I'm out this bitch. Easy.